My intellect is without limit. Reclamation is banned. 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 Ban banned. <laughs> Stacks back. School phase MTG. I'm not going to do a revolutionary, crazy Stacks brew deck uh, this time. Um, I really want to get into something as far as like exploring prior decks that were kind of like dominating before all of these bans started taking place. Um, you know, we've had a, a lot of bans recently. If you look at what's banned currently in standard, it's the, the hugest ban list we've ever had. Um, starting to kind of look comparable to the vintage and legacy um, ban list as far as number of cards on the list. Um, but you know, Winota, the Winota deck was a serious problem a long time ago when Agent was legal and then um, Agent got banned and Winota kind of just all but disappeared. And then she, Winota herself, got banned in Historic. So you can't even play Winota in Historic. Um, so Winota's been a re recipient of a lot of hate. Um, ever since Reclamation and, and Teferi and the few cards that we just had get banned, I wanted to go back and explore some older decks that maybe weren't so viable because of the oppression of all the ramp and, and reclamation going on. So the first deck that, that came to my mind was, I wonder if Wynota is still good. So I put together a Wynota list. I'm very impressed with the list. Uh, it's basically a mono white version of Wynota, um, but it's, it's really good, it's really strong. Even though Wynota doesn't have access to Agent, she's still a very powerful card. I have seen some Wynota decks that are three color that are that are trying to run Embercleave. So I did factor in Embercleave into this deck, Brew, but it's in the sideboard. It's in a, in, this is a, a deck with a transformational sideboard. So you can go from a regular Wynota deck if you're playing best of three. Um, you can go from a regular Wynota deck in game one and switch it up or, or game two if you're going to game three and then switch it up to an Embercleave deck. So you got kind of a transformational sideboard built into this deck list that I came up with. Um, so let's get into the deck and I'll explain everything. So we're starting off with uh, uh, four Selfless Savior. This card is a great addition into the deck because he protects Wynota. Um, and he triggers Wynota when he attacks. So he, he's on dual duty in this deck. Um, I love everything about this card in the deck. He, he's a, a very big achiever in this deck. Um, I got four Charming Prince. Charming Prince. I haven't always been a fan of Charming Prince, but I'm a I'm a real big fan of Charming Prince in this card in this deck. Even if you hit Charming Prince off of a, a Winona trigger, it can be useful. Um, especially if you have cards, other other creatures in play that you that you want to flicker, like Revervant Hoplite, with you know bringing in tokens. So you can you end up hitting the Charming Prince off a of Winona trigger. He comes in, you can flicker your, your hoplite, get more tokens. It's pretty insane. You'll see it in the gameplay. Uh, three Daxos, Blessed by the Sun. Not a human. Triggers Winona. Gains you life. This in combination with uh, hoplite, all the tokens coming in, you gain in life. Daxos serves a big purpose in this deck because of the devotion and keeping you alive versus heavy aggro, low to the ground creature strat strategies. Um, Daxos can put in serious work and keep you alive. Um, I got uh, four Raise the Alarm, of course. That's pretty much standard in any Winona deck. The two soldier tokens, they're not human, so they trigger Winona. Um, ideal situation is to play these on at the end of your opponent. Uh, at the end of turn three, so then going into your turn four, then you play Winona and you swing with these. And, you know, you give your, your opponent very minimal opportunity, opportunity to get rid of the tokens. And get rid of Winota. They kind of have to like instant speed remove stuff, or you know you're gonna get your Winota triggers. Uh, four Hang Executioner. This card is a lot of these cards in here serve double duty. As we all know, we're not we're not running any removal spells in this deck. We're kind of just like a go 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 Winota go uh, type deck. Build up the army and swing out. So Hang Executioner has its own dual purpose of bringing in an extra non-human body for us to swing with. So you get two um, non-human flying bodies that trigger Winona. And Hang, hang Execution is also removed. You can exile another creature on the field um, if you need to. So, so it's a good way to 
sneak in some removal in the deck without actually taking up a spot a uh, space that you know you need for either a human or a non-human um card or creature to, to trigger ron owner uh, then we got three linden devotion life gain all that double duty as just like most of the rest of the deck it, like i said most of the cards in here perform double duty of course four winota uh, four reverberant hoplite three inspiring commander this card um you have to craft this card i don't i don't think most people are going to have this um this is one of those arena i don't know exactly where this came from but it's like one of those promotional arena cards or whatever um but yeah most people probably have to craft this so three rares crafting this but this also um double duty drawing cards gaining you life this in combination with hoplite just it puts the game out of reach for your opponent so if you get this on the field then you get hoplite and then you're flickering hoplite with charming prince you're just getting all those tokens drawing all those cards your card advantage will be so massive over your opponent a lot of times they'll just scoop you re you really never get an opportunity to play a boros deck or um, a mono white deck because this is almost basically a mono white deck but you never get to play a boros or mono white deck with card advantage and you can get all the card advantage you want with this deck so you won't have problems drawing cards um, once you get the, the synergies going. And then I got three Silver Wing Squadron. This card can just come in and kill your opponent out of nowhere. So if you hit this with bunches of creatures and tokens on the field and you hit, you hit this off of one other trigger and they don't have anything, a flyer to block with, a lot of times Squadron will just kill them on its own. So yeah, it's that it, this is a, a big time finisher if you hit it off of one other trigger. Um, most of the time, if you end up just hard casting it, they'll, they'll kill it because, you know, it's it's problematic. But the ideal situation is to hit it off of one. I know the trigger with lots of creatures on the field. And then I'm running 24 land. I'm running 11 planes, 4 mountain, 4 sacred foundry, 3 temple triumph. I might actually put this up to 4 temple triumph because the, the scry lands with the, the charmer princes is our, our ways of finding one older when she's not in our opening hand. So, yeah, you, you probably want to go 4 on the temple of triumphs. I just... I don't know, I, I just hadn't went up to, to four, but four is probably ideal. Um, and then two Fable Passage. So I'd probably take out a planes and put in an extra Temple of, of Triumph. And then for the sideboard, like I said, I have a, this is a, basically a transformational sideboard for best of three. So I got four Fervent Champions, four Rob of the Rich, and four Tajik, and three Ember Cleave. So a lot of times in game one, if you kill your opponent from one owner triggers, they'll, they'll be wise to the situation and they'll bring in the instant speed um, spot removal or, or extra instant speed spot removal and wait for you to play Wynona um, because that's that's what they're, they they know that's what the deck is centered around. So you can actually take your Wynona's out and put your four Tajiks in, um, take out the the upper curve of cards like the, the, the commanders and the Silver Wing Squadrons and put in these guys, uh, put in Ember Cleave, take out some, take out the... Uh, the, the, the cards that uh, give you creature tokens and put in Ember Cleave, you know, switch it out however you want to switch it out. But basically, you transform the deck now into a Lord of the Ground Rush aggro uh, style deck. And your opponent, they're expecting, they're, they're expecting a, a Winona. And Winona's not even in the deck anymore. And before they realize that you've now transformed the deck into a, a rush down aggro deck, it's too late. They already died. They are, they're already dead. So... Um, yeah, I love transformational sideboards because I like presenting one deck to my opponent in game one, and then when they sideboard, they expect to be dealing with that particular strategy, and then you go ahead and sideboard and take out that strategy. If you know that that's the type of opponent you're up against, um, the type of deck that they're playing, if it's control, heavy, spot removal, um, just going ahead and switching it up to a low-to-the-ground rush aggro strategy, you can just go ahead and sneak in an easy game to win without having to worry about them blowing up your your Winona or or trying to hand disruption you and take take your Winona out your hand and then they think they got you dead in the water because a lot of times if you don't draw a Winona in a Winona deck uh, the deck is just an okay deck it's not a overly powerful deck like it is when you do have Winona so a lot of people know that they know if they just get rid of Winona then the deck is massively downgraded as far as power level wise so Sometimes resorting to the transformational sideboard in the best of three game is your best 
option, your best method for winning, especially in Boros. You don't want to get into a long, drawn-out game um, when playing a, a, a creature-based Boros deck. So you just want to go ahead and um, smack them down, get the life total down to zero, and go ahead and get the game over with. So, yeah, that's, that's what I got for this deck. Had a lot of fun playing with this deck. Um, I, I think that this is actually a viable contender to rank up with, so I do recommend this to rank up for anybody that's wanting to get back into playing wine order. So, without further ado, get into the game. What is this? Trash. Can't keep this. This is better. Role player. Are you going to be playing the role of the winner? Uh oh. Must be Oris. Uh, go ahead and get Daxos down. Try to negate some of this life loss from all these Oris. Got a flash or Let's see it. Yes, no. Of course you do. <laughs> All right. Uh, let me go ahead and... I don't want to play Linden, so I'm just going to play this tap. Play my Prince. Charming guy. Go ahead and scry. Don't need either one of these. All I want to find is a Wyona. Swing in here. You can take two along with me. He had 18 with me. Sharon is caring. No blocks. I prefer to keep two creatures and leave you with one. Oh, he wants his lures. All right, scry. Uh, I'll keep that. It lets me see two cards deep after it. All right, let's gain this life back. I'm winning the race, Oris. You're playing the role of loser right now. <laughs> Play your lose. Of course. Alright, um, play my charming guy. Oh, there she is. Well, I kind of want this land, too, for my squadron, but... The land's going to go away when I when I use Wyona's ability, so... Sorry. It's okay. Swing in with Daxos. Gave me one life. Role player, what's happening? I'm 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 in the role of the winner right now. Uh block your lures. Make you use something out of your hand and uh, keep it alive. Quite alright. Quite alright. Wanna, I'm only going to get one on a trigger. One Y on a trigger, but that's fine. Hopefully I get something excellent. Keep my charming guy for blocking duty. Oh, yes. <laughs> Lots of tokens. <laughs> Waiting on this guy. Waiting on Void Mage. Keep that land. Is this going to be some kind of Rakdos? Rakdos creature rush? Not, not being very rushing. By my charming guy. Uh, don't 
need to raise the alarm. Uh, actually, I do want the dog. I'll need the dog to protect my Wyona. He's playing right though. So he, he'll he'll have lots of removal. Oh, Mardu. This knights. Oh, indeed it is. All right, take it two. Go ahead and uh. And down here, I really wanna could play a hang executioner. Oh, I can't because that's. Oh, all right, yeah, keep that there. Couldn't play hang executioner anyway because I have a passage without having three lands already on the field. Going all in on his knights here. They can't save you. All right, I'm gonna eat big damage here. Could block with my charming guy, but I'd prefer to save him to block when it matters. All right, full steam ahead. Why on a power? Catch up my planes. Block one of them. Uh, Quadrant, I don't too much want him. I'll take the top light. Take the charming guy. Flicker. The hop light. I'm gonna block one of my tokens. Block my charming guy. He won't die. Come on, Void Mage. What are you doing? <laughs> Could have at least blocked the token. Oh well. You have knights. I have humans. Lots of them. He can't save you. She can't save you either. <laughs> Is that all? I think that's all. You don't have any more man open. Alright. I'll chump you guys. Chumps all day. Alright. Go ahead and uh, play my dog. Play Executioner. Since he so politely left me with my tokens, <laughs> I'll swing with him again. Further establish my board. Alright. Yes. Like the commander. And another hoplite. Excellent. <laughs> his, his deck is sick. Oh man. I think I had too much Tiva. I was seeing like 13 inspiring commanders. Oh no, those are actual triggers, huh? <laughs> Didn't block anything. Alright, me uh get rid of the land. Land. Don't need that Linden. Um uh, so we want that. Get rid of I don't need a commander. Alright. Come on, Void Mage. Oh. <laughs> uh, can't do it. Can't do that either. Alright. Gotta start off at five. Uh. Only on two lands. Do I want to get rid of the Prince? I'm feeling, I'm going to go for it. I think I can draw some more lands. Feeling risky. Oh, speak of the heavens. Um, I think I want to use my passage now. So that way I can have raise the alarm up. 
I don't want to sacrifice my dog. I don't want to trade my dog off. So I'd rather trade a raise the alarm token. Alright. Here's a Johnny. Pride Maze is gonna get a little buff here. Alright. I'm actually gonna play this and shock myself and display that I have something here. So that that might prevent him from attacking. Let's let's see if if it provokes some thought. Oh, the name is Melanie. This is most likely a female. Alright. Still gonna swing in. Oh, playing out the whole playing out your whole hand, huh? Gonna swing with everything? Yeah, of course. <laughs> I tried to show you that I had an effect. Didn't care though. Alright. Uh play my dog. I could play both dogs and hope. That I draw a land, go for the gamble, but no, I'm gonna go for the scry. I don't want to be too risky here. All right, well I would have, I would have lucked up, but you never know. Never know, never know, Melanie. Iliad, you never know. You gonna swing with everything? Well, I would suspect that you would. Alright. Just gonna block the four. Sorry, charming guy. Melanie didn't fall for your charm. He's being charmed by Heliod. Alright. My selfless savior is about to charm Wyona. <laughs> Linda. Uh, no, like. Mini blockers now. Hey, like that, Melanie. Didn't see that coming, did you? Didn't see that, did you? <laughs> Melanie. What are you doing? Come on. Back with your things. <laughs> oh, your Heliod's. He's come to help you. He's come to charm you live and in person. I'll just jump it. <laughs> oh, I can't jump your bird. Alright. Well, I haven't seen a Silver Wing Squadron yet. So if I if I hit one of those, Melanie's gonna take big damage here. Nothing in my hand now. See what I hit. Uh, I'm gonna attack with this, the dog, um, my hoplite, some tokens here. Uh, six attackers. Let's go for seven. Gain seven life. Keep my life total out. Oh! <laughs> oh, man. Is this... <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Melody. You see those squadrons? They have silver wings. Good game. <laughs> Melanie! <laughs> what are you gonna do? Just stare at them? Hello? Are you gonna rope me? <laughs> Ready. Bryn Dan. Uh, 
I don't need that. I think I can draw some lands. Need to be trying to scry into Wyona. Wynoda. Go ahead and uh, get the demigod down. I think I think the demigods are so cool. I want to be a demigod someday. I want, to re I want to retain some humanity. I don't mind being a demigod. Half god. Playing. Oh. I'm glad I didn't have one, one only in my hand. You're going to take my Linden. Hey, Linda. Alright. Go ahead and scry. Oh, perfect. Um. Well, it doesn't matter because I'm just going to play Wyona. I'm not going to hold it in my hand. Since I know now he's playing Hand Disruption. I now know he's playing Hand Disruption. Come on. Got. Block here. Well, wait a minute. No, won't block. If he kills it, that'll bring my Daxos down to two, and then he may be able to shock it or something. I don't want to lose my Daxos. My only wound a trigger right now. Bones. Crack those, crack those bones. All right. Uh, he might remove my Wyona, but at least I'll get a trigger off of it this turn, unless he removes it now. Got removed? No. <laughs> All right, give me something good. Uh, Linden. Well. There are worse things. I know the ideal play to some people would have been to play to raise the alarm and save the Wyona, but if he has another drill bit or some other kind of hand disruption, then that would just be bad. Like I said, he might have removal for it now. Oh no. Uh, he's representing Embercleave. Embercleave? Yeah. Embercleave is actually a bad play here because it, it doesn't kill me. And he's tapped out. Yeah, that's, that was a bad play. <laughs> Alright. Hopefully I hit something good this time. If I can punish him. Uh, no, I won't swing my prince because he can block it with the knight. Swing with Linden. Uh, uh, yeah, Hoplite. <laughs> it's gained all that life. <laughs> Didn't see that coming, huh? Brindand. You gonna block. Hoplite's indestructible. Alright, you can swing all out if you'd like. <laughs> or concede. Oh, two land on the play. Oh, yeah, I got a got the wine older. Can't keep it. Alright. Actually gonna put the queen back, I guess. I'd rather keep all my lands. And hope to draw in the gas. Mola five. Billy Cheese. 
Odds are in your favor here, Philly. Modify with no Wynota. Billy Cheese look like he's playing the Sky Nomad control. A Linden here. Get in. Probably gonna get board wiped. <laughs> Sky Nomad control. Gonna uh oh in look. All right, exile my land, I guess. Keep my hanging hex. Oh, look at the RNG being nice to me. Give me another fable passage for me to fetch up my full art mountain. All right, swing all in. Yeah, yeah, nice. That's all I got. If he plays the land and shatters the sky here, I'm, I'll just scoop. Shatter? No. I don't think he has shatter. If he had shatter, he, he'd have been jammed it by now. Or maybe all he, all he had was a scry land. Maybe, maybe that's why. Maybe I have one more turn with my creatures before they all get shattered to dust. <laughs> Alright, playing a rat for a blocker. With my hoplite. Oh, oh, I can't play hoplite. So I just swing. Hoplite's like the worst card to draw right now, anyway, because if I do get board wipe, hoplite will be a 5 mana for a 1 2 body and a 1 1. Oh, that's not a, not a board wipe. All right, take my linden away. That sucks. Less tokens. These skylands, the worst time. Oh man, I'm getting so close to the finish line here. No wine owner needed. Oh, Sky Nomad. You gonna try to exile my Hang Executioner? I'll exile your Sky Nomad. Yeah. <laughs> Bad play for you. <laughs> should've just... <laughs> should've just played the Sky Nomad. Left, left well enough alone. Take my three tokens. My three life. I'm not even gonna worry about bluffing here. It's all out there for you, Billy Cheese. Either you wipe me, or wipe me, or you die. Does he have it? Trying to find it. What, Cry Carnarium? That's the only thing that can get you out of it. Oh! does have a, a land play. Shatter? No, that's not Shatter. <laughs> you can gain a life though. You can return your rat. Turn your your rat. Or your fin lurker. Get a blocker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Uh... Got all these two drops and scries, so at least I got more than one land this time. Didn't even just had a no gamer, no game last matchup. Kept getting one land. Mode all the way to four, one land. All right, go ahead and get Daxos. Be gaining my life. Ooh, my owner. Uh, actually, gonna I'm gonna gamble here. 
I'm gonna gamble and hope I draw a land. Boy, we're young. Where's his deck? What are you doing? I guess he just wanted to draw off wherever young. Alright, let me get a land. No. You're another land. Alright, you can find me a land. I gambled and lost. Alright. Yeah, I can keep the hoplite there. He may be the best trigger off of Wyona, so. Yara. Alright. Three triggers here. Let's go with the insanity. Yeah, yeah hop like. Glad I left him on top. Alright. Take the charming guy. You can uh, flicker my hop like. He said, oops. <laughs> And take the commander so I can fill my hand back up. Gain some more life. Unblock the token. It's in your benefit. <laughs> Put you back. You call six. Uh oh. Potential mirror match here. Against Ace of Hearts. Are you a poker player? Is that, is that a Johnny up there, your poker face? Is that why you're staring at me like that? What are you doing? Why are you taking so long to scry? Just one card. <laughs> Alright. I will not take as long. I don't need you. Oh man. Ace of Hearts might be playing a Wynota deck. Um, let me go ahead and scry. Play the dog next turn if I don't have anything else. Uh, guess I'll keep that there. Looks like I'll the only trigger I'll get will be off the dog. Well, I don't know. I, I might. I use this passage and shuffle away, Linden. Yeah, I think I think that's the better player. Shuffle my Linden away. What are you holding priority for? Alright. Play my dog. I don't get anything else on my draw, then I'll, I'll just be getting one trigger from the joiner of forces. I'm trying to figure out what is he. Oh, it's some Boros life gain. Spiffy. The primate has fleas. <laughs> that primate heart looks like he has fleas. You guys are itch. Needs to scratch it. What are you doing? Are you gonna attack? The life gainer? No. Oh, hang executioner. Alright. Hold off on playing one on a I suspect I'm gonna take a pride mate hit. Maybe. 
weaponized monsters. That's a really bad card. <laughs> Probably we should not play that. You're gonna steal one of my guys? Sack it. Deal two damage to my prince. Oh no, you don't have enough mana for that. Alright. Well, let's go ahead and get my join our forces trigger. Three of them. Response? No. <laughs> you can sack one of your guys and kill one of mine. I only get two triggers. Could do that. Alright. Eh, uh, the commander. Pop light. So many triggers. <laughs> For all of you that have never seen a Boros deck with card advantage, this deck is for you. Discard here. Get rid of hoplite. Oh, he's still holding. Still holding priority. What are you doing? Ace of Hearts. Wake up, man. My turn. Pass priority. Can't do anything. All right. Uh, I don't need. I don't need. I don't need these lands. Keep everything else. You gonna sack something? To weaponize monsters? I wanna see you do that. Oh, Angelic Exultant. Angelic Exultion. Your primates. He's angelic. Please. <laughs> Being blocked by a flea. Alright. Well, this is good and over. Swing all out. Thousand Linden triggers. <laughs> uh, nothing. Uh, oh, squadron. Squadron. Yep. This is what I call true Wynota deck. Block with your <laughs> your Michael Jordan. <laughs> oh, rank up. <laughs> to land I gotta I gotta risk it since I got the charming guys raspberry go ahead and uh get my Daxos hope he doesn't get burned oh it's unfortunate Oh, look at RNG being nice to me today. Don't need another one of you. All right, I'm gonna play Daxos here and hope I pick up a fourth land. So I can get a trigger. Raspberry. Playing, uh, oh, this appears to just be burn spells. Oh, that's not a burn spell. Alright. Charming guy. Uh, don't 
need the land. Well, I have a hoplite though. So, yeah, I'm gonna keep the land there. Magma. Don't see that every day. Oh. Oh, our brand. With the magma. Alright. Magma can zap me for three every turn now. Alright. If I scry into some stuff that triggers while I own it, I'm gonna keep it on top here. Gonna burn me? Magma? It's the only thing you, you have. Holding priority. Gonna burn my dog? Oh, you can't. Target player playing ball. Uh, two lands. That may be an indication that I have a land pocket here. So I'm gonna put these on the bottom. Very likely that I still pick up a fifth land anyway. Alright. So I only get one I know the trigger. If he doesn't kill my dog. Fire urchin. And raspberry. Got this, this raspberry red burn going on. Should name your deck that. Raspberry red. You gonna burn my dog? Oh, no. Burning me. Five. Oh, and then the field. Another three. Oh, man. I'm in trouble here. Uh, what can I pick up that'll get me out of this? We get one trigger. I think there's much that can get me out of this. I don't know if Daxos was still alive, Hoplite would work, but uh, take Commander. If by some chance I don't die here, I'll play Hoplite, and that'll that'll hopefully get me back in the game. <laughs> but um, Magma hits me for three. All he has to do is play one one spell, and and I die. If he swings. I have to block. All my stuff will die. Got a burn spell? All you need is one. Any kind of spell. Oh, yep, yeah, that'll do it. Oh! Raspberry Red taking me down. Guess I can make do Nicholas there we go don't need you hopefully I'm not up against creature rush have some time no mountain first sign that creature rush is, is yeah 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 all right, cavalcade, mono red, huh? Maybe I should gain the three life. <laughs> All right, I don't need. Yeah, I don't need you. I need Winota. I need her ASAP. Oh, scorching. Ding dong, the prince is dead. Alright. Uh, put this in tap. Hold up mana for the alarm. Might get a chance to block the dodger. Oh no. Oh, he has a robber. There's a rob robber and a dodger. Oh, man. Uh, makes no sense to respond, so... Go ahead. All right. 
Alright. Always got my hoplite. Alright. Uh, I'm just gonna eat it. I can gain... I can gain life back with Linden, so... No sense of wasting my guys. Fetch a land. Get my lands out. Alright, my dog gave me two life back. Alright, still in this. No I know yet, but I'm still in this. Oh man, they always have two fervent champions. I'll give my Linden indestructible here. She will be blocking something. He's got my commander. As long as he doesn't get a Wynota. Uh, should I swing? I need the life. Block with your scorch spitter. No. Linden's gonna block something. Even if she dies, she's gonna block something. Or maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I shouldn't block anything. He can Ember Cleave. No, he's, he's gonna use his land to pump. Alright. Well, Linda will block their dodger since she didn't give him unblockable. Yeah. Oops. <laughs> Oops. Alright. Play my commander. Sounds so weird saying that. Play my commander. Linden putting in that work. Keeping me alive. Oh, out of Linden. Alright, Steamkin. Alright, block one of your champions here. Oh, I know the. Uh, yes. Yes, still have two mana open. Can gain emergency life if I need to. guy showing up at the wrong time gave me three life though that's not bad squadron yeah uh, yeah he's dies either way so <laughs> staying alive against red as you can see Wynota still viable in the meta <laughs> As always, I hope you enjoyed the content. Please remember, if you have not already, please subscribe. Hit that like button, comment on this video. Um, as of viewing this video, it is Friday. So my Friday Night Magic live stream will start at 7 p.m. tonight. Um, I will be streaming on Facebook. And um, I'll be taking challenges. And winners will get FNM codes. So um, I will be playing Jank. Um, I encourage you to bring your Jank. Well, correction, I'll be playing Jank and I'll be playing Stack Screws. So I encourage everybody to, you can play whatever you want, but I encourage you to play um, Bring Jank because I would like to keep my, my live streams away from so much meta gameplay. There's lots of content creators out there streaming meta gameplay and that's just, I don't, I don't want to get into that. But 
like I said, play what you want, bring what you want. It's all in good fun. Um, yeah, like and subscribe. See you all next time.